Thank you for coming to the press conference of Barbora Krujikova. I'll start with the first question and then we'll go to in the room. Barbora, congratulations. Your younger opponent gave you a bit of a scare, but uh, just talk to us about the experience on court because uh, did that count for something you think today? Well, I mean, first of all, thank you. And I mean, I'm definitely happy that, that I was able to, to get it on my side. And I think that, uh, I mean, I was feeling well. I think I was playing solid tennis. I think I did. Uh, I think I was serving quite well. And and I think I was just very, or I was trying to be uh, like a lot aggressive than, than in my previous matches. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, yeah, I think that I was improving throughout the match. Question, thanks. Yeah. Barbara, congratulations. Um, you had a long conversation with your team after the first set uh, during the, the break. I'm just kind of curious what, what you guys discussed and, and what adjustments did you think you were able to, to make in the second and third sets to get it done? Well, I mean, we discussed a little bit of everything. I mean, I felt that I was playing well, but I just, I, mean, I felt that the important points that we were playing, that they weren't really going on my side. And, and yeah, and I mean, we had pretty much discussion about that. Um, I think you were working with a sports psychologist a lot last year. Are you still working with that person? And is there any tools that you've learned that you would share with just, you know, general regular tennis players and anything you use today? Well, yes, I'm still working with the person, and uh, I mean, I think there wasn't really anything that was like that specific that I used or that I was thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about the challenge of playing uh, Sabalenka, who's your next opponent? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean it's gonna be difficult. I mean Arina, she's playing well, and I mean she she likes it here, and she's she's been playing here uh, really well. I mean since the last year, so so I'm expecting it's gonna be difficult. But I'm also on the other hand, I'm feeling that I'm improving with every single match, and I'm looking for, forward for this matchup. Yeah. Barbara, just th navigating through the first four matches, how pleased are you to kind of get yourself back into a quarterfinal here, and how? different does it feel this time around than, than compared to the first time that you made a quarterfinal here in Melbourne? Well, I feel, I mean, it's it's great. Um, I mean, I'm really happy that, that, that I'm in a quarterfinals because I had a, I had a really difficult matches and uh, I mean, to compare it with the, with the last time, I don't, I don't really remember the, la the last time. So, so I don't really re remember the, uh, the feelings and the, the emotions that I had. So I mean, this year is it's a new year. It's a it's a it's a um, uh, I mean different tournament. And I just I just go on and I just fight for every single ball. Uh, Arena stopped playing doubles to focus on her singles. Is that something that you would would ever consider? Mm, well. Well, I think that I got to the top tennis because I was playing doubles. And I feel that uh, it's just part of my game. It's just part of me. And uh, I mean, like sometimes, you know, like I get these questions and and uh, I'm getting asked this a lot. But I mean, the way it is right now, I'm, I'm very happy with that and I'm enjoying that. And I mean, as far or as long as I'm gonna enjoy it like this, I'm I'm gonna keep playing uh, any competition that I that I decide to do. And um, did you watch Eager and Linda yesterday? And how happy are you to see another Czech woman, you know, doing very well here? Uh, I mean, I watched a little bit, not really, not really the whole match, but I think she served it out really, really well. And I mean, I know Linda since she was 11. We kind of we kind of play for the like in the Czech tennis tennis extra league together in the same team. So I remember when she was there and and she was getting her uh, her ex first experience. And she was I mean very very young, very also tiny and small. And I mean I'm I'm really proud of her that you know that she is she is this this young and she has such a such achievements already. Oh, oh, oh.